And as he called out for Jesus, Jesus stopped and listened. Just like he stops and listens when you call out to, when you pray to him, he wants to hear from you. He listens. Hello again, it's Mike with Wyandotte Cares. Uh, we're continuing talking about discovering Jesus today. Last week we found out that Jesus came to find the lost. Today we're going to find out that Jesus loves you and came to take away the darkness of sin. Our story today is in Jericho. And in Jericho there was a man who had a problem. This man was in darkness all the time. You see, his eyes did not work. So he saw nothing. And since he saw nothing, and the day he lived, he couldn't get a job. So that the way he provided for himself was being a beggar. So he'd sit and he'd beg for food, for money, for clothes, for all the things he needed. This man was always in darkness. Well, the Bible tells us that you and I are in darkness as well. Not that your eyes don't work, but without Jesus, there is a darkness upon us. The Bible says the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. See, sin puts us in darkness far from God. Jesus, though, came to a way to take away the darkness, to bring light into the world. Jesus came to wash away all sin. Jesus was going to help this guy who was in darkness as well. You see, this guy could not see, but he could hear. And so when people would go by him and talk, or if people stopped by and talked to him, he'd hear about what was happening in his world. At some point, I'm sure he heard about Jesus, and maybe about all the amazing miracles Jesus had done, how he had walked on water, how maybe he had healed the blind or the lepers, how he had turned lives around. And so our friend, um, when he heard about Jesus, and heard that Jesus was on his way to his town, or even walking through his town, our friend really wanted to meet Jesus. He was excited at the hope that he might be able to see. He was hoping that Jesus really would walk by him, and that he could call out to him and have light in his life. Well, as Jesus got closer to where our friend was at, the crowd got louder. There was excitement in town to see Jesus. Others wanted to meet him. Jesus had done incredible things and people wanted to meet him. Well, as Jesus got closer and the crowd got louder, our friend began to yell, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. But as our friend called out to Jesus for help, the people around him told him to quiet down. Bartimaeus... Jesus does not have time for someone like you. See, he's a busy person. He has people to see. He has places to go. He's helping people. He doesn't have time for a poor blind beggar. But you know what? They're wrong. Jesus had time for Bartimaeus, just like Jesus has time for you and I. In fact, in the Bible, it tells us that God sent Jesus for you and I. In John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. It's because of God's great love that he sent Jesus to help you. It's because of God's great love that Jesus was coming through Jericho. And Jesus did have time for Bartimaeus. Jesus has time for you. He created you. He loves you. He wants what's best for you. He wants you to come home someday home to heaven. Jesus loves you. And Jesus loved Bartimaeus. Well, even though the crowd told Bartimaeus to quiet down, he yelled louder, Jesus help me. Jesus help me. Jesus help me. And as he called out for Jesus, Jesus stopped and listened. Just like he stops and listens when you call out to, when you pray to him, he wants to hear from you. He listens. Well, Jesus stopped and listened. And he called Bartimaeus over to him. And when Bartimaeus came over to him, Jesus said, What would you like me to do for you? Bartimaeus, of course, wanted to see 
He was in constant darkness all the time. He also the darkness of sin, just like you and I. You might be able to see, but sin is a big problem. Jesus came to fix that problem, to wash away sin. The Bible says he has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. Jesus paid for all sin on the cross. He had done no wrong. He left his home in heaven and came here for you. He died on the cross for you. He paid the price for sin. Jesus made it so the darkness of sin can be washed out of your life. So you can be forgiven. So you can be near him. Jesus died on the cross and lives today. He can do all things. And he had the power to open Bartimaeus' eyes. He said, since you believe, you can see. Well, on that day, Bartimaeus saw Jesus. And if you have trusted in Jesus, if you have turned to him and asked him into your life, you will one day see Jesus as well. You'll see him in heaven. He is the way home to heaven. Bartimaeus believed and saw Jesus on this day. After he saw Jesus, after his eyes were open, he began to praise the Lord. The crowd began to praise the Lord. You and I, we should praise the Lord or thank him for all the amazing things he has done. Have you taken time today to thank the Lord? I encourage you to do so. Once again, the Bible says, glorify God. And all the people gave praise to God. Bartimaeus began to follow Jesus. If you have chosen today to believe in Jesus, you can follow him. How do you become part of God's family? How do you believe in him? Well, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, should not be far from God, but have eternal life. Bartimaeus called out to Jesus and was able to see you can call out to Jesus in prayer and tell him that you're sorry for the wrong you've done, that you believe he went to the cross for you and rose again, and you can tell him that you believe in him and want him in your life, and you will be forgiven. You'll be able to one day see him. I encourage you to do that today, and I encourage you to thank him for all he's done. i see you next week as we discover more about Jesus. Bye. Thank you.